Officer Ron. Hello. How you doing? I'm all right. Good. Thinking about breaking into your house. That's why I've been coming over here every Saturday. Yeah. To record our show. You wouldn't be the first one to try it. I'm casing the joint is what I'm doing. Yeah. Did you know that according to FBI figures, Ronnie, approximately 1.4 million burglaries take place in the United States each year? Dang, that's a lot. However, while many assume burglary to merely be a crime of opportunity and one committed by masked strangers under the cover of darkness, it's rarely the truth. Yep. So what might make a burglar set their sights on your house? Well, we're going to tell you on the very next Men Are So Smart. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And you know, uh, Ronnie is an officer of the law, mm -hmm. and we found or stumbled upon this story today, which is called Secrets Burglars Already Know About Your Home. And who better to get this advice from than a police officer? Ronnie, you, oh, you, oh, oh, okay. you. Oh, thank you. Pay attention to this show. I quit, there was, quit I watching there was somebody over else there. over here. No, there's nobody over there. We have special in studio guests. No, we have no special in studio <laughs> guests. I don't even know what you're talking about. Where would we put them? <laughs> well, he could could set up another chair, maybe behind us. Yeah, but that would make an effort. You know, I don't, I don't have that in me. I'd have to go all the way over there and get a chair. We don't need that. Whole, no cow. one needs that. Man, that's a lot. Ronnie, what's number one? So. People, th these burglars, yeah. they put in some serious legwork before breaking into a home, including casing the place from the inside. Oh. So how do they do that? Uh, we've all been guilty of it, including myself, whether it's the dry cleaning pizza or a package being delivered. We've let peep complete strangers into our home. They're getting an up-close and personal view of who's in your house, says retired NYPD police officer, and private investigator Bill Stanton. Uh, he's worked with countless celebrity clients. Uh, burglars also sometimes pose as salespeople or pretend to be lost. Burglars may also case your property by ringing the doorbell and posing as someone else, such as a salesperson or utilities engineer. Uh, this allows them to get a look inside your property and see what valuables you have, as well as finding out more information about you. Uh, be very wary about opening the door to people you don't know or aren't expecting. And if you do, don't give them any information about yourself or your household until you have verified they're legitimate. I can't even bring anybody in my front door. Oh, the, dogs. My, my dogs are so over the top territorial. I just can't. And so that's never... I, I had to meet a fire investigator uh, Friday, met her out on the driveway. Yeah. That's that's it. My dogs are way too protective. In our little studio here, it's just off of Ronnie's house. And as old men are wont to do, I have to pee from time to time. <laughs> in order for me to do that, I can't just go in the house. No. I have to, Ronnie has to be the scout and run ahead. Yep. Find out where the dogs are. Yep. And then literally hold them with all his might so I can get <laughs> into the bathroom. Yeah. And a couple of times it's actually come pretty close, Ronnie. Yes. Where those dogs wanted a piece of my action and almost yeah. got it. Yeah. So and, Ronnie's right. Yep. You're territorial. How about when you're at work? What happens? Burglars don't typically pick homes to rob at random, and they typically don't strike in the middle of the night. In fact, approximately twice as many burglaries take place during the daytime when people are at work. And as such, burglars tend to keep an eye on the comings and goings of their targets. Burglars often take their time scoping out their potential victims so they can carry out a burglary without getting caught. This means they may well know your schedule and when the house is left empty, some surefire signs you've headed to the office, a lack of cars in the driveway, lights off inside the house, and packages on the porch. Mm. Boy, is that an ever-growing yeah. problem, Ronnie, yeah, that's packages. Pretty, pretty telling. Uh, this next one is whether or not you have expensive taste. Uh, burglars kind of prefer targets 
that seem likely to contain valuable items that they can resell. However, they don't really have to look inside your windows to get an idea of how much money you've got in the bank. If you've got a luxury car in your driveway, burglars can fairly assume you're doing pretty well for yourself and that your house will likely yield some decent rewards. And I'll tell you what a lot of burglars, what they go in and grab, laptops, iPads, um, things that they can easily stick into a back box, cameras, high dollar cameras, uh, guns, things that easily fit into a backpack that they can, you know, come out a side door, walk down the street, and nobody thinks the difference. Right. They're not grabbing your 65 inch flat screen TV uh, unless they backed up a moving truck. Right. Most of them are on foot and loading everything they want that's worth money into a backpack. Secrets burglars already know about your home, whether or not you own a gun. Those NRA bumper stickers on your car, that, that there's nothing in here worth dying for sign in your yard. While you might assume that those would tell a burglar you're not someone to be messed with, in many cases, they have the opposite effect. Announcing you're a proud supporter of your Second Amendment rights likely means you keep guns, which burglars can easily sell for significant cash when taken from your home. Uh, next is they know whether or not you have a security system. Yeah. So even if you have a sign in the front yard that says protected by, you know, ADT, ADT let's just say it, uh, you may not really have one. So, and honestly, burglars try to avoid homes that have active alarm systems. Uh, that said, if your security panel is located uh, inside your front door, especially if you have a glass panel in a door, a burglar can peer through and can quickly tell if you actually have that alarm system or not. Another surprising way burglars can tell if your home is protected or not, by looking in the reflection of that front hall mirror. Uh, they can see a security panel in it. They know these signs are fake, and for more ways... Uh, sorry. Yeah, they know. Uh, the I'll tell you one thing, and without giving a... Too much of a, an endorsement, but I kind of have to. The Ring doorbells uh, are, I, I subscribe to a site, and it's nothing but video after video of Ring doorbells preventing porch pirate thefts. Uh, guys are prying on a front door when the owner comes on and says, hey, I'm calling the police. And then they some of them even have the, a way to remotely turn on a siren. And nobody's going to stick around and try to break no. in your front door when there's a siren going. Absolutely not. Secrets burglars already know about your home. Next up, how much you spend on a weekly basis. A burglar may not know your monthly budget, but they can still get a pretty clear picture of how much cash you're spending on a regular basis. When you put out your trash on garbage day, Burglars will take note of boxes for high-end items like laptops, as Ronnie mentioned, TVs and phones, that indicate you've got not only ample disposable income, but some items that can be resold for significant amounts of cash. So, uh, you kind of want to be careful with what you're throwing in the garbage. Yep. It's kind of like, um, I, I, it's similar to Christmas Day. You get all these great gifts that come in boxes, and then the next day is your garbage day, and you put them all, the boxes all out on the curb. Right. Uh, not a good idea. Yeah. Not a good idea. Uh, and this one kind of goes along with that. Burglars know if you've been burglarized before. So, unfortunately, if you've been the victim of a burglary once, you're more than likely to have it happen to you again. Uh, burglars are likely to strike again within the first few weeks after a burglary. Though the risk of being re-victimized goes down to the same level of homes that haven't been previously victimized after six months. So how do burglars know that your home is an easy target? Since burglars all, don't always work alone, someone who's picked over your house once may give information about how your home's security failings, or about your security failings, to an associate or come back again themselves. So this is right along that same note. You get your big screen TV, stolen right what's the first thing you go to sam costco and buy 
you buy another big screen TV, a brand new one. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, so now you got a brand new TV in there. They weren't that happy with your 15-year-old, you know, Sony, and so they're going to come back and get your new one. Wow. Um, same kind of thing. Uh, and it's, again, don't, you know, when you get something new, uh, don't advertise it by putting that cardboard box out there. Not a good idea, Ronnie. No. What's next? Uh, so next up is they know your vacation schedule. Uh, if you think a burglar is fooled by you leaving the TV on in your living room when you're out of town on vacation, think again. Uh, if you go on holiday, try not to post about it on social media before and during, especially if your profiles are public. How many times do I see that? It's unbelievable. Burglars uh, who have been casing your home are smart enough to know uh, if you've been home you're, and your lights are on during the middle of the day. That's a dead giveaway. Uh, it means that you're trying to make your home seem more lived in while it's not. Similarly, if your cars aren't in the driveway and your mail is piling up, your home looks like an easy target. Have a relative or close friend collect your newspapers and mail when out of town because the bad guys are checking. So I usually try, and we live in a, a small court with I think it's seven or eight houses, mm -hmm. And we all communicate to each other when we're going to be out of town. And if somebody could pick up our Amazon packages, if we get the phone book delivered, any crazy little thing, uh, most of us have each other's keys. Uh, we have, I have like a garage door code for the people down the street. They get packages almost every day. And that way I can grab their packages and stick them in their garage for them. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, a, a really growing problem uh, to the point that it's made a whole industry of these doorbell. Oh, yeah. You know, um, yep. they're, they're everywhere. I see them now. Uh, they're advertising on radio and TV as well. Um, there are things that you need to be careful of. Uh, one of those things is, and we talked about it in another episode, it was um, phone books. Right. Nobody even uses a phone book anymore. Why are you leaving it on my driveway? I didn't ask for it. Yeah. So, you know, and your mail, your mail in your mailbox piling up. Um, you know, you got to let your mail person know that uh, you're going to be gone for Shut a week off. or so and, yep. and hold the mail for you, you know? Yep. Next up, burglars aren't eager to draw attention to themselves. So they're likely to look around for a spare key before kicking in your door. And make no mistake, those spare key storage containers, that fake looking rock in your garden. It's fooling <laughs> those nobody. are so obvious. Yeah. Uh, say, or that magnetic box affixed to the underside of your mailbox. Hmm. Not fooling anyone, friends. No. So, you know. Uh, and Give like your key to a neighbor. Yeah. Like I said, we have, we just interchange with everybody in the neighborhood here. So uh, this next one is, is very helpful. And this is one of the tints that I give people. Uh, burglars know if you have motion sensor lights. Uh, since burglars, burglars frequently scope out homes before breaking in, they're likely to know if those exterior lights on your house are motion activated or not. And if you don't have motion sensor lights, you might want to consider investing in some. Bad guys hate lit houses. Uh, when you drive into your neighborhood tonight, think to yourself, which house would I hit if I was a burglar and which ones would I not hit? Uh, and I have to tell you the, the biggest thing that I've seen is when a light clicks on in a house on my street, like I said, it's a not, there's only seven houses on the street, seven or eight. When a light clicks on at somebody else's house, my I is instantly drawn over there to see, huh, wonder what that is. And our one of our neighbors up here, he's got unbelievably great ones at about uh, maybe 50 or 75 feet out, it kicks on. Oh wow. And I know that somebody's walking down the street and I can take a peek out and see who it is. Huh. So motion sensor lights are huge. Yeah, I've got one out in front of my house. Well, uh, what are burglars looking for whether or not you have a dog, or if the beware of dog sign is actually real. <laughs> Trust me, in my case it is. 
and you don't want a piece of that. No. I have, Ronnie was talking about how territorial his dog is. I had a situation, I think it was just last weekend, Ronnie, I was in my garage doing my editing, and uh, it was in the evening too, and my dog, Bella, was just laying there, just minding her own business, but she was on patrol. Uh, and this, I didn't notice, but this little girl, uh, about 22 years old, was delivering a package, and I didn't see her. And obviously, she had to come up the driveway, and that's what I tell neighbors. Do not come up the driveway. That's what the dog is looking for. Right. And sure enough, I was able to catch Belle at the last second. If I had missed her collar, I don't know what might have happened. Yep. Um, you know, so really, when I have a beware a dog sign, beware a dog. It's the real deal. It really is. Yep. Right. Uh, this one, neighbor, the burglars know if you're moving soon, uh, the for sale sign in your front yard makes it pretty obvious to burglars that a long list of people like real estate agents, potential buyers, stagers, and movers will be coming and going from your property on a regular basis, making it easier for them to go unnoticed among the hubbub. Uh, it also means that the home is likely to be frequently unoccupied if you're in the process of moving out, giving them an easy opportunity to strike. Uh, there's no there's no real easy way around that one. If your home is for sale, there are going to be people that you won't even know coming up to your front door. It's hard, and your neighbors obviously won't either. Hard for people to sort out who belongs and who doesn't. Yeah. Yep. Even guys that are fake delivery men look, you know, legit. Yep. Burglars want to go unnoticed. And some will go as far as to test potential victims to see how attentive they are before breaking in. A burglar might, for instance, leave a flyer outside your home to see if it gets picked up before they strike. If it's still there days later, it's a good sign you're not home. Right. Similarly... If they have access to your house, they may unscrew bulbs in a motion detector light or leave a door on win or window unlocked, hoping you won't notice. Yeah, that's also true uh, if you have an open house. If your house is for sale and you're having an open ho uh, house, they're going to go through and they may leave a little bathroom window open. Not open, but just unlocked and come back and, and grab something that way. Man. Uh, and your real estate agent probably wouldn't even know either. No, they're not going to go through and check every door and window. No. Uh, this next one, burglars know if there are good hiding spots outside. Uh, this is one thing I used to give, a, uh, when I was a pop officer, I used to give neighborhood watch meetings. And one of the things I told people is if you have a lot of landscaping right up next to your house, Make sure you trim it so that all you see at the bottom is just the trunk of the plant. That way, if somebody's hiding behind it, you can clearly see a couple of legs down there. Mm -hmm. um, if you are going to put some kind of a plant under your front windows, make it something like holly. Holly is very, it's got pricklies on it. And, yeah, and she was good on the prices, right, too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, and she could prevent a burglary. Probably. She could. Yeah. Knocking them dead. But, yeah, something rose bushes, maybe. Something with thorns that's not inviting for somebody to crawl into or hide behind. Yeah. Where you keep your money. Burglars know that the stacks of cash you keep inside your house are likely to pale in comparison to the ones you have in the bank. And while cash is among a burglar's most desired finds when they break into a house, they likely know where you do your banking and could easily steal your identity if you're not careful about shredding your bank statements. Boy, I can tell you, there's just bunches of them by my front door in a basket. Yeah. All right, this last one. Burglars know if you've got pills they could sell. How do they know? Oh, from your garbage. Yeah, your prescriptions. I don't know how many times I've gone to, I, I take a, a prescription for uh, high blood pressure. And the first thing I do when I get home is I throw the bag and everything in my garbage can and just take the pill bottle in with me. Uh -huh. So they know. And what's sweeping this nation right now is an op opioid crisis like no other. Mm -hmm. 
And so if you have anything like oxycodone or oxycontin that you get a prescription for, holy cow, those pills are an absolute gold mine on the, the black market. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. You know, it seems like we shred everything. Uh, that might be one really good thing to shred also is any prescription leftovers that might tell somebody, you know, and also be aware when you're leaving the pharmacy, if somebody might be following you, especially if they've heard, you know, if you are prescribed oxycodone or oxycontin. You, the pharmacist has to meet with you. He has to have a consultation with you. And so if somebody follows you home, they know you've got a fresh bottle of pills just waiting. So just one last thing to consider. You know, it always amazes me that thieves put so much effort into finding out these little factoids about you and spending time staking out your house, looking through your garbage. If they took that much of their time and applied it towards getting a real job... They could be a CEO of a company. Probably. They put in way too much work trying to get off on somebody. And yeah, if they put it in the right direction... Because a lot of them are very, I mean, at least for short stints, they're super motivated. Oops. Yeah. And so, yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, we hope that you've learned something uh, this time of the year. Lots of folks are going on vacation. Yep. Leaving their homes unattended to. Although I will say a lot of people do have on their home security the availability to watch it from their phones. That's true. Uh, but then again, it's like, uh, have you seen that commercial for, uh, I think it's State Farm with that guy that... Uh, always um, oh mayhem mayhem the <laughs> one where he's got the guy who owns the home and he's on his phone like at a football game hey, I'm still in your car yeah because that's what I do <laughs> what what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you gonna do you're watching it yeah. but you're you're at a football game so uh, yeah, I love anyway. mayhem me too he's very good great great character actor yeah, I think he was on Seinfeld or something. Well, I don't know where he I got to start, but some casting agent was really I think he smart. was Elaine's boyfriend at some point, but anyway, he is good. All right, that's going to do it for our show today. We uh, are glad that you watched. Uh, if you did enjoy the show, give it a thumbs up. Plus, leave a comment and subscribe while you're at it. Hey, maybe if you've been burglarized. Yeah, there's the trifecta right there. Yep. Like it, subscribe, and uh, watch or something. Anyway, uh, something like that. <laughs> our website is menaresosmart.com. You'll find a lot of cool stuff there. And uh, also, you'll see some of our vo videos on uh, the Treasure Tracer forums, which is treasuretracer.com <coughs> slash community. All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. <laughs>